In this video, we show how to create a drawing of a simple bookcase using the isometric commands of AutoCAD 2008. This drawing is in paper space and as a first step, we double click inside the large viewport to gain access to model space and erase the existing drawing. Next, we go to Dimension Style and modify the units and click on Fractional instead of the Decimal Default. It is also necessary to type units and change the dialog box to show Fractional rather than Decimal. In other words, when you want to change the units, you must make the change in two different locations. After that, we go to the Tools menu, select Drafting Settings, and click on the isometric snap. You will notice uh, the appearance of the crosshairs has changed. This is very important because now we can toggle the F5 key which will allow us to draw on different planes. In addition, we will type the word dim scale, D-I-M-S-C-A-L-E, and change the value from 1 to 16 because we want to print to be at scale of 3 quarter inch equals 1 foot. This means that 3 inches equals 48 inches and therefore the scale will be that of 1 inch equals 16 inches. This is important because dim scale allows us to increase the size of text and arrowheads so it's become readable when the drawing is printed at such a small scale. With all the preliminary work done, we can start to create the isometric drawing. Toggle the F5 key to draw the top view of the bookcase. With Ortho on, pick a point, move the mouse, and type 54 and a quarter. You can use fraction or decimals, but if you use fractions, you must type 54-1-4. Move the mouse and type 22. Again, move the mouse and type 54 and a quarter, and then close. If we want to draw the left side of the bookcase, toggle the F5 key and draw the line 36 inches and toggle again and draw 22 and move the mouse up to end at the intersection. Now draw a line from the right hand corner 36 inches. Because the thickness of the material is 3 quarter inch, we will offset these three lines, three quarters of an inch. Now, there are intersections which we will have to clean up by using the fillet command with a zero radius. Next, we draw a line from the midpoint of the left vertical to the midpoint of the right vertical and offset that line so as to create the shelf.
After finishing the drawing, we want to dimension it using the Align Dimension command since all lines on the cabinet are drawn at 30 degrees. No lines are vertical or rather are horizontal. When using the Align Dimension command, it is also necessary to use the Oblique command which is found on the Dimension menu. This allows us to rotate the dimension from its base point to its proper location. Generally, we use 30 degrees or minus 30 degrees. To finish the bookcase, we add a few more dimensions and then click outside the viewport to get back into paper space. If unnecessary, we can erase it. You must remember that when using paper space, the entire drawing should be printed at a scale of 1 to 1, even though individual viewports can be set to different scales. You can set the scale of the large viewport by selecting it and clicking the Properties button. The standard scale is found under miscellaneous, that is where you set a scale for the viewport. In this case, we're going to select a scale of 3 quarter inch equals 1 foot. Once the scale is set, double click inside the large viewport to gain access and pan so that the drawing is visible. Now double click outside the viewport to get back into paper space. Finally, if we don't want the rec large rectangle to be printed, we go to the layer dialog box and freeze the layer viewports. The drawing is now complete. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more, please comment on the video and let me know as I enjoy hearing from you. Thank you for watching.